A flag is raised at half mast at Vanderhoof City Hall, marking a somber day that confirmed the worst outcome to a 12 year long mystery. Madison Scott, the vibrant 20 year old who vanished without a trace at a remote campsite in 2011, now confirmed dead. It's been uh, 12 long years and, you know, it's, it's um, comforting in, in some ways to, to know, but uh, obviously um, thinking of Maddie and missing that part of our community. Yesterday, RCMP revealed a major breakthrough in the case, announcing they found Scott's remains. They won't say where or how, but they say they have a search warrant on a rural property west of Prince George. Maddie's truck and tent were in this location here. This campsite was where Maddie Scott was last seen in May 2011. She was celebrating a friend's birthday at Hogsback Lake when she disappeared, leaving her tent and her pickup truck behind. There was a lot of stress in that first uh, week, 10 days. Chris Mashamansky was one of the first search and rescue volunteers called to look for Maddie Scott. Revisiting the site where she was last seen brought up memories of toiling for her search. You've got a family and friends of Madison after 12 years and you've had hope and to see that now extinguished has to be devastating. Mushamansky hopes justice will be served for Scott as well as many other women still missing in northern BC. RCMP continue to search a rural property they say is associated with her remains. They're asking for tips from the public. But the latest development in Scott's case has ignited more questions. There has been so much tragedy and grief in this community, but today Hogsback Lake is a place of peace as the community waits for answers that will crack this case. Betsy Trumpener, CBC News at Hogsback Lake near Vanderhoof, BC.